Now you can set the head aside for now while we make the ears. So go ahead and get your black colored yarn and we're going to start with the magic circle. Go ahead and drape the yarn across your four fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook, go under those two loops around the middle fingers, bring up a loop, then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then make six single crochet into the magic circle. Then take your forefinger and thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet. You have these two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one. If it doesn't close, then let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. And then take and pull on the loose yarn end. Then you're going to turn to work in rounds, just like we did for the head. You're going to go into the first stitch in the round. Make sure you grab both loops. And you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around, just like we did for the start of the head. And then you're going to stop when you have 12 stitches in the round. So now you should have 12 stitches in the round and you can turn it over and pull on that loose yarn end on the back to close the center of the magic circle if you need to. Then just take a loose yarn end, place it right where you left off and we're going to be making two increase rounds. For the first increase round you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the second stitch. And when you get back to the yarn marker, you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round. And then for the last increase round, you just make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have 24 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for four rounds. So four rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So now we're going to make one more increase round. So go ahead and take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and this time you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. So now, after that increase round, you should have 30 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up right to where you left off. Then just make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then, after you finish your two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you can make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. Then you can finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the ear in place. And you're going to need two ears. So make the other ear the exact same way. So now we're ready to sew the ear in place and you want to get your tapestry needle and you want to use the magic circle on top of the head as a landmark and count down one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So under the sixth round will be where the top of the ear will be. And then you want to have a slight upside down U, just very slight. And you want the bottom portion of the ear to be about four stitches from the black portion behind the eye. And then once you have the ear positioned, go ahead and sew along the front of the ear. Now the other thing to keep in mind is that my ear, so here is the eye, and I'm the top of the safety doll eye, and then you see a little round that goes around, and that's where the bottom of my ear lines up with the top of the safety doll eye just to help you with placement. And then you can just take and go in and out and sew the front of the ear only. And then you want to keep repositioning. So I put just a slight curve in there. And then you want to keep making sure that the top of the ear is lined up correctly. And then you just go in and out sewing the front of the ear in place. So as I'm sewing, my placement is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So under the eighth round from the magic circle, So I just want to give you some measurements to make sure that you have your placement for your ears correctly. So from the top of the ear to the black spot behind the eye is about 5 centimeters. And then from the bottom of the ear, it's about 3 centimeters. And then once you have the inner portion of the ear sewn in place, then you can take your tapestry needle and then position the back of the ear and then sew the back of the ear in place. So however you position the one ear, the other ear should be positioned the exact same way. So even if yours is off a little bit from mine, as long as your other ear is sewn on the exact same way and your ear isn't too far back, you don't want you want your ear to look right when you're looking at the face of your panda bear. So you don't want your ear to be way too far back here. You want it to be just right. And then the other ear should be sewn on the exact same way. And then once my ear is sewn on securely, you can see the slight curve that I have on the inner portion of the ear. Then I tie a knot on the back. So I just go anywhere along the back and then I tie a knot and I like to go through twice then you can take and bury the loose yarn end and I go right up into the ear make sure you're not going through to the front And you can see how it gets rid of the loose yarn end. And then you just take and trim the loose yarn end. And then you have one ear sewn in place. And then, like I said, the other ear should be sewn on symmetrically or exactly the same way. So here's a little trick that I use for sewing on the ears so that they're exactly the same way. So I know that my ear, the bottom of the ear is going to line up with the top of the safety doll eye. So I'm going to go in about four stitches away from the black portion and then I know that I want to line up with the other ear and it should be about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should fall about right here for the top of the ear. So I'm just going to come through
and then you can curve the ear. Remember you want the slight curve and then just go up into the corner of the ear. And that's just a little trick that I use to help position my ear the way that I want to. And it looks the same on both sides. And this is what it looks like after I have the ears sewn on. And then here's what it looks like on the back and on top. Now you can set the head aside while we make the body. Now for the body, we're going to work from the bottom up towards the neck. And you're going to start with your white colored yarn. And we're going to start with a magic circle. So you just take the yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're going to bring up a loop and make a slip knot. So just yarn over and go through that loop for a slip knot, just like we've done for the head. We're going to do the same thing starting with the body. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. And then you're going to close it the same way that you've done before. and then you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So go ahead, finish two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So now you should have 12 stitches in the round. And you can close the center of the magic circle if you need to by pulling on the loose yarn end on the back. And then we're going to be making increase rounds just like we did for the head. The only difference is we're going to be making this bottom of the body a lot larger. So now you know how to make your increase rounds and we're going to make the increase rounds the same way that we did for the head. So it's going to be in chronological order. Just take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off. And we're going to be, for those that already know how, we're going to be increasing all the way to one single crochet in 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm just going to get you started. I'm not going to go through all of the increase rounds because you know how to do it now. But you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into one stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm also not going to be giving you the increase count until we're completely finished with all of the increase rounds. Now you should know how to get your your stitch count because remember our last round was 12. If you add 6 to that when you finish this increase round you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round. So now you know we're going in chronological order so you know that the next increase round would be one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. Okay, so this is the last one that I'm going to show you since you know that you're going in order now. This is one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And the next one would be four, then five, all the way up to one single crochet into 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then Come back after you finish that last increase round. So now I finished one single crochet into 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And I have a total of 96 stitches in the round. And the measurement is 7 inches in diameter. So now you just move your yarn marker up and you just make one single crochet in every stitch around until you have 
the number of rows that you want for the white portion of the bottom of the belly before you change to the black colored yarn. So when you come back, I'll show you how many rounds I made before I switched to the black colored yarn. Now after you finish your 20 rounds of the white color, then you just take your black colored yarn and then bring up a loop with your black colored yarn and just tie a knot just take and tie a knot then you can cut your previous colored yarn then you just make one single crochet in every stitch around for 10 rounds. So 10 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your 10 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch with your black colored yarn, I just want to point out that where we made the color change, make sure that this color change stays towards the back of your body. So you don't want that showing on the front. So now we're ready to start our decrease rounds. So we're going to be decreasing the number of stitches in the round. So just take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and then you're going to make one single crochet into the next 14 stitches. So one single crochet into the next 14 stitches and then come back. Now after you make one single crochet into 14 stitches then you're going to single crochet two stitches together or make your decrease stitch. So you go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, then go into the next stitch and bring up a loop three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch. And then you just repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker, one single crochet into 14 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. So now you should see that you're getting a, a gradual decrease for the body opening. And as you're decreasing, you can add craft stuffing. I usually wait till it's a little bit smaller before I start putting the stuffing into the body. And I just use an inexpensive pillow for my stuffing. Now, for those of you that know how, we're going to be decreasing in chronological order all the way to close, just like we did for the head. So, for the next decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into 13 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should know what to do as far as decreasing. We're decreasing in chronological order. We started with one single crochet into 14 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. Then we made one single crochet into 13 and now you're making one single crochet into 12 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead, keep decreasing in chronological order until you're almost closed. Remember, you need to add craft stuffing before you get um, to a smaller opening and then come back and then I'll slip stitch, I'll single crochet two stitches together and slip stitch closed with you. So this is how mine looks so far. It's looking really good. And you can see that I added my craft stuffing in the body. So make sure that you have plenty of craft stuffing. I think I'm going to add a little bit more to mine. So you can see that I added plenty of stuffing in the body, but at the same time you don't see, you didn't overstretch your crochet holes with the black yarn to where you, all you see is craft stuffing. Then once you're finished, we can take and close and all you're going to do is just slip stitch, I mean single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. So single crochet, two stitches together all the way around until you're almost closed. You can kind of see how I'm holding my fingers. So I'm just going around. And 
And then once you're almost closed, probably can get a couple more in. I have a little bit of white strands from the stuffing, but those will come off. I'll pick those off later. Kind of brush them off, or tape will work good too. Let's see if I can get a couple more. Then you can take and slip stitch closed. So then you just skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over and bring the yarn through both. And you keep doing that around until you're closed. And this is going to get covered anyway by the head, so you don't have to worry if you have little openings near where you finished off. Then go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and then just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now you're ready to bury the loose yarn end. And see here you can see where you do have some of the craft stuffing showing through, but that's okay because the head is going to go right here. Where you don't want it is on the front of the body or the sides. Then you just bury the loose yarn end with your tapestry needle right where you finished off. And then go ahead and shape the body. Just kind of squish it and shape it the way you want it. And remember, the color change needs to go towards the back of the body. So now we're ready to sew the head onto the body. And I used my tapestry needle and the white colored yarn to sew mine in place. And again, I can't stress enough, you want to keep the color change towards the back of the body. And then take the head and place it onto the body. And you're going to center where you finished off on the body with where you finished off on the head. And just kind of line it up or center it. And then I always start, start from the back of the head with my tapestry needle. And then I'm going to start from the head and go into the body. Because you want to make sure that you don't see the white colored yarn through the black portion of the body. So I'm going to go right kind of underneath towards the bottom of the head and then come out and into the body and then come out of the body where you want to come out of the body where it will be hidden the color of the yarn will be hidden under the head and you want to make sure that you leave a loose yarn end Make sure you leave a pretty good loose yarn end for bearing into the work. And then you can reposition the head. And then if you come out of the body, you're going to go right next to where you came out of the body. Go into the body and then come up through the head. And then come out of the head towards one of the lower rings or rounds. And then each time I reposition the head. And then I want to go back and tie a knot. So I'm going to reposition the head. Then I'm going to go about a stitch over from where I exited it on the head. And then go into the head. Come out. Down into the body. And then come out of the body right under the head portion where you ent first entered, but it's under the head so it will be hidden. I'm going to tie a knot there with the loose yarn end. So you can see how I'm hiding the white colored yarn with the head. Now I'm just going to tie a knot with my loose yarn end. Make sure that you don't have the yarn is not loose where you just sewed it to the body, the head to the body. And now you're ready to finish sewing the head. So you can see the part that I've sewn so far you can't even see. So you can kind of position the head again and then that's how you're going to sew the head to the body all the way around. Now the first round you may skip around and that's fine because you can make multiple rounds 
as you secure the head to the body. So this is what mine looks like after I'm finished, and you can see that you can't see any of the white lines after I sewed the head in place, which is what you want. Now you can set your panda aside while we make the arms and the legs. So for the arms, we're going to start with the magic circle and our white colored yarn. Just drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers, hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then just take and bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle, just like we've done before. So there's two, three, four, five, six. Then go ahead and close the magic circle. And then you're going to turn your work so we start in the first stitch and then make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back. Now we're going to make our increase round, so go ahead and get your yarn marker. And for the first increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker, one single crochet in one stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. Then you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. Then make one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around. So we have two more increase rounds and this is going to be for the front pause. So the next increase round will be one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. And then the last increase round is one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. So now after you finish that last increase round, you should have 42 stitches in the round. Now you can go ahead and bring up a loop with your black colored yarn right where you left off. Go ahead and tie a knot with the previous colored yarn and then you can cut the previous colored yarn. And now, before we continue on with the black colored yarn, you want to get your sparkle black colored yarn so we can make the paw prints. So go ahead and set this aside for now. You can just leave a little bit of a loop to come back to. And then we're going to take your black sparkle colored yarn, and this comes in pink too. So if you like this style of yarn with those sparkle, then you can also switch it out for a pink one if you wanted to instead. So we're going to start with the magic circle just like we've done before. And then hold it in place. And then we're just going to make our slip knot. And this time we're going to make the, the inside of the magic circle a little bit different for the paw prints. So the first thing you're going to do is bring up a loop to make a single crochet. Then we're going to make a half double crochet into the magic circle. So you yarn over, go into the magic circle, bring up another loop. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through all three loops for a half double crochet. Then you're going to yarn over, go into the magic circle, bring up a loop, 
and then we're going to make a double crochet so you yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through two you have two remaining yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through the remaining two for a double crochet then we're going to make another half double crochet and a single crochet then we're going to make another half double crochet then we're going to make a double crochet another half double crochet and then we're ready to close the circle remember if it doesn't close let go pull on the other loop then you can take and pull on the loose yarn end then you're going to make a slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made so you just yarn over turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook then you can go ahead and finish off just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help sew the spot in place so I have some of the loose yarn end on the back, so I'm going to use some of that too. But then you can see how it makes more of an oval shape. So you're going to need five of these for each paw. So each, the front, both of the front paw, the arm paws and the leg paws, they're all made the same way. So you're going to need 20 of these. So five for each paw. Now for the other portion of the paw, you're going to start with a magic circle. And you're going to make your slip knot. Then you're going to start with a single crochet. Then a half double crochet. then a double crochet now we're going to make three treble crochet so you're going to yarn over twice go into the magic circle bring up a loop now you have four loops on the hook yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through two three loops remaining yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through two two loops remaining yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through the two remaining loops for a treble crochet now we're going to make two more into the magic circle so yarn over twice go into the magic circle bring up a loop complete your treble and then we need one more now you're going to make a double crochet a half double crochet and you could scoot your work over if you need to that's what's nice about the magic circle so now a half double crochet a single crochet another half double crochet a double crochet three treble crochet there's one two, three. Then you're going to make a double crochet and 
and then finish up with a half double crochet. Then you can take and close up the magic circle just like we've done before. And then you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made in the round. And then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help you sew this portion onto the paw. So for this portion, if you have the center open, just pull the loose yarn in on the back and then that closes it up nicely. So you're going to need four of these, one for each paw. So now you should have all of your paw prints, five of the smaller ovals, and then one large oval. Set these aside for now. We're going to finish making the front portion of the paw with the black colored yarn before we sew the paw prints in place. So the first thing that you're going to do is start where we left off, and then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch for one round. So one round of one single crochet with your black yarn, one single crochet in every stitch for one round. So now you should still have 42 stitches in the round. Don't make a single crochet into your joining loop, white loop, so don't mistake in that as a stitch. Make sure that you count your stitches and that you finished up with 42. Then take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and now we're going to make some decrease stitches. So now we're going to make 11 single crochet two stitches together. So make sure you put your yarn marker right where you left off, Go into your first stitch, bring up a loop, you have two loops on the hook, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a single crochet, two stitches together and that's your first one. And we're going to make a total of 11. So we've already made one. I'm going to make a couple with you. Here's my second. Third. Fourth. So go ahead finish making 11 single crochet two stitches together and then come back. So this is how your work should be looking. You can see how you're creating a little pouch for the front of the paw. I finished 11 single crochet two stitches together. Then you're just going to make one single crochet into each of your remaining stitches for the round and then come back. So now you should have 32 total stitches in the round and this is how the front of the paw looks. Now you just move the yarn marker up and you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for only one round. So one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then after you finish the one round of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. And this time you're going to make eight single crochet two stitches together. So go ahead, finish eight single crochet two stitches together. and then come back. 
After you finish eight single crochet two stitches together, then you're going to make one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches. So now go ahead and leave a little bit of a loop where you left off and then you're going to sew the pads in place. So you want to make sure that you have the five pads, the little pads go up here and then the larger pad goes down here. I sewed the bottom larger oval place in place first and remember you want the out pouching to be at the front or the top and then this larger oval goes towards the back or the bottom portion just like this and then I want a little bit of the white showing on the bottom then I sewed the two ovals on both sides of the larger oval so then after I sewed the bottom oval and these two prints then I sew the top middle portion in place then you can take and sew the last two paw prints in place and this is how mine looks after I'm finished now you may decide that you want to just use four of the paw prints instead but with the panda they have five so that's why I went ahead and put the five on there and I think it looks cute and the reason why I have you sew it at this point is because you want it to be facing on the right direction of the paw. So here's the, the front of the paw. So you want these paw prints to be up here and then the larger one to be down here. So now we're ready to continue on with the arm. So now just go right where you left off. Move the loose yarn end up. Oop, I accidentally sewed mine into the paw. So let me cut that. You can actually remove it before you start sewing. You can't see it on the right side. So I'm just going to move it up. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't do that. Or so you don't want to sew your black yarn in place too. I've done that before too. So just be real careful you don't do that. Then you just take and make one single crochet in every stitch around. So only one single crochet in every stitch around. So you should have 24 stitches in the round at this point. And we're just making one single crochet in every stitch around. When we come back I'll show you how many rounds I made. So you want to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch and then we're going to make an increase round. So for the first increase round, go ahead and move your yarn marker up and you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches. So one single crochet into three stitches. And then you're going to make two single crochet into the next stitch. So two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now go ahead and add craft stuffing and then shape the paw at this point. You should have 30 stitches in the round and then just move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for six rounds so six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. You can go ahead and add more craft stuffing too. And then you're just going to move your yarn marker up and we're going to make an increase round. So you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have a total of 36 stitches in the round after finishing that round. So now go ahead and make one single crochet in every stitch around for 14 rounds. 
And you can go ahead and add craft stuffing too, and then we'll get ready to close. So now go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then we're going to start our decrease rounds. For our first decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. Then just take and move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So one single crochet in every stitch around. Then you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then you can add more craft stuffing if you need to. Just be careful that you don't overstuff your paw or your arm. Then take and move your yarn marker up to where you left off and make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So only one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. Then make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern all the way around. Then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around and you can see how we're getting smaller and smaller then you're just going to make one single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. So now you can see that your opening is really small and you can go ahead and remove your yarn marker and at this point you can just single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. So you just keep making a single crochet two stitches together until almost closed and then we're going to slip stitch it closed. So now I'm going to slip stitch it closed. So I'm going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch and then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. And then I'm just going to keep slip stitching until it's completely closed and this should be the last one here. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now you have one arm ready to go. First let's bury the loose yarn end. So you just take the loose yarn end, put it onto your tapestry needle and then just enter right where you finished off and then exit anywhere and then trim the loose yarn end so it's nice and buried. And then you have one paw or front paw complete. You just need one more made the exact same way. And now I'm going to show you how to make the foot. So for the foot, again, you're going to start with the white colored yarn and we're going to be making it the exact same way except it's going to be larger. So we're going to start with the magic circle again. Drape the yarn across your two middle fingers. Bring up a loop for your slip knot. And then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you can go ahead and close the magic circle just like we've done before. Then just turn your work and then you're going to make two single crochet into the first stitch in the round. And you're going to make two single crochet in every stitch around 
until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back. So now we're going to make eight increase rounds in chronological order. So for the first increase round, just take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochet into the second stitch. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker, one single crochet into the first stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, repeat that pattern all the way around. So now you know how to make the increase round, so it's made the same way as the hand. So the next increase round is in order, so it'll be one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the ne next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. And you're going to keep making your increase rounds until you get to one single crochet into eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then come back. So now you should have 60 stitches in the round and we're going to go ahead and join our black colored yarn at this time. And then you can go ahead and remove your yarn marker and then just cut your previous colored yarn and set that aside for now. And then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for only one round with your black colored yarn. So you should still have 60 stitches in the round. Remember, don't make a single crochet into your color change loop. Then you go ahead and place your loose yarn end or yarn marker. And then we're going to make 15 single crochet two stitches together. So you go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, whoop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, and then yarn over and go through all three for a single crochet two stitches together. So that's one. We need a total of 15 single crochet two stitches together. and then come back. This is how mine looks after I made 15 single crochet two stitches together. Then you can go ahead and make one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches for the round. Now you should have 45 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. So one single crochet in every stitch around for one round and then come back. Now after you finish that round go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're going to make 11 single crochet two stitches together. So 11 single crochet two stitches together and then come back. Then after you finish 11 single crochet two stitches together, just make one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches. So this is what mine looks like with the foot and I just want to show you next to the hand the difference. So I have the bottom ones up first. So I sewed this bottom portion first and then I placed these two, then I placed the middle and then I placed these two. And then that method just helps make sure that you have everything spaced and will fit onto the hand or the foot. So now you should have 34 stitches in the round and you can go ahead and sew your pads in place. So remember you had five of the smaller oval shape and then one of the larger oval shape and then sew them the same way in the same order that you did for the hand. 
Now you can take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for two rounds. So two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, you can go ahead and add your craft stuffing. Make sure you get your stuffing into the paw to shape the paw. Then we're ready for our increase round. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And then you're going to make one single crochet into three stitches. Try not to get the craft stuffing into your stitches. Sometimes it can't be helped. Then make two single crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around. One single crochet into three stitches. And you can always pull out any stuffing. Stick it back in. <laughs> so one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And repeat that pattern all the way around. For mine, I had two stitches left. I went ahead and just made one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches. So now you should have 42 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. And you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for six rounds. So six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now, after you've finished one single crochet in every stitch for six rounds, go ahead and move your yarn marker up for our next increase round. And this next increase round is one single crochet into four stitches. And then two single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around I had one remaining stitch before the yarn marker I went ahead and just placed one single crochet into that stitch so I had 49 stitches after completing that round, and I added a little bit more craft stuffing, then you just move your yarn marker up, and then you just make one single crochet in every stitch around for 14 rounds. So 14 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now, after you finish the one single crochet into 14 rounds and you add a little more craft stuffing, we're ready to close. And you can continue to add craft stuffing as you close the leg. Go ahead and add, I mean, place your yarn marker right where you left off. And then you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around. One single crochet into four stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. Then just move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. So only one round of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then you just need one single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around for one round. Then just make one single crochet in every stitch around for one round. Then just make one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around. And again, be careful you don't overstuff the leg. But I went ahead and added a little more craft stuffing for mine. 
So you can see how we're almost closed. Then go ahead and remove the yarn marker, place it right where you left off, and just make a round of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then you can make one single crochet in one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together and repeat that pattern all the way around. Now you can go ahead and remove the yarn marker and then you just single crochet two stitches together and then slip stitch closed just like you did for the arm. And this is what they look like when you're finished. You can see the size difference for them. Now go ahead and make sure that you have two arms and two legs and then I'll show you how to attach them.